What's up? Yeah, I seen that thing with Rudy Giuliani and Trump. Yeah, that fool know he need to be impeached. That Turk and no. <laughs> Man, I'm not going to even lie. That'd be one of the best days ever. Find out that Turkey get impeached and they, that fool gets bounced out of this nightmare. This is like a bad dream. And uh, these people have lost their mind. They're like, oh, you know, we're going to let him do what he going to do and, you know, do his thing. Please. It's embarrassing. You know, you won't go nowhere in the world and have to acknowledge that turkey because, you know, good and well, that even the fact that he admits that he can pardon himself. Are you kidding me? I ain't never heard of no craziness like that before. But he know these serious uh, implications and allegations, there's some truth to it. There's a lot of truth to it. You know, because Mueller got their butt on the ropes. And you see all these people getting, you know, indicted behind this stuff. That's real over here, you know. That's very real. And racism and tension is a very high level. And um, there's a lot of things going on where, you know, you sense that people are like, you know, trying to wild and then trying to ride on their wave. But they have to know that Trump has no morals. He has no scruples. And everybody know, you know, that he get down with Putin and all that. And Giuliani, <laughs> that's embarrassing. I mean, he's just basically... You know, he's being a puppet to walk around and try to be his hype man right now and say, well, you know, maybe this will come to pass and we can prevent this from going on. But if you are even saying that you have to pardon yourself because you fear of being in peace, you have to even bring it up and you have to like throw these things out there. What are you hiding? What are you really trying to say? Because, you know, there's truth. There's truth in there. But you can't convince these people here who are down with Trump about nothing because they're naive. They don't want to acknowledge his racist ways and that he's trying to take everything back. But I'm not even tripping about party ties. It's just the, the tension is real. Um, the way people act and they act real indifferent. You know, America's always been divided black and white, no matter what. Anybody tells you differently, they're lying because... Before I was alive, it was like that. And after I'm all gone, they just don't get along. They don't get along because they haven't shared. And so when you create someone who's trying to take on the past as he's doing, he's trying to re himself into something in a prehistorical sense. Uh, people are really like trying to like take that to heart. So it's a very shallow, scary uh, time that we're living in. Comical, too, because, you know, like the same people who were tripping about Roseanne Barr didn't even want to even give Colin Kaepernick, you know, here his day. But then you got this chump walking around here, this turkey up here, you know, talking about I'm going to pardon myself. <laughs> I think that's absurd and hilarious. I've never heard anyone talk about, I'm going to pardon myself. Now, if I did do it, I'll pardon myself. I don't really have anything to hide, but what you talking about, Turkey? You either got, you either, you know you down with Putin and you know Russia got their ties on you. You know the IRA owns you. You know, all these racist institute places that run and got money on them. So who are you kidding? Yeah, you know what's up. We all do. You know, the ones that choose to open their eyeballs can see what's up. They know good and well them turkeys is running the smoke screen and they're trying to like sabotage everything that Obama did and whatever going on. So, you know. So, anyway, hearing this fool talking about partner Ruth Gianni is hilarious to me. I find that hilarious because I've never experienced that in my life. You ain't even seen that in a movie or no TV, so let alone in real time. So, it's just another day and another week in the absurdity of this Donald Trump thing which is like a bad nightmare. And then maybe when you wake up, it'll disappear like Casper the Friendly Ghost. So that's just my two cents on that. I'll catch you next time. Peace.